These are all the collectibles in chapter 13 and we have left the castle and we are now at the island, which means we have to get a new treasure map. Cause that's the only way we're gonna know how many treasures we've collected on when we look at the map screen in the bottom right corner, it'll tell you if you've purchased the map. Now from there, we are going to move just into the next area, the wharf. It's a little village, there's a bunch of lasers. So a lot of things going on in a relatively small area, but there's a chest right there. It's so easy to see, it's just so hard to get to. Now what we need to do is get behind the laser. And when you get behind one of these laser things, you can actually turn it and rotate it so we can then pass by. But in this case, it's so we can loot some treasure. Okay, so continue that story path. It's very linear until you get to this ladder here, and we're gonna climb up this ladder and get a nearby treasure that's an elevation above us. Once we're up, we're gonna swing around through the house into the backside and to a tunnel where there's gonna be some an explosive barrel. We're gonna blow that up to remove the rocks that are blocking the path. So we'll just go in and take a shortcut through here. There's a yellow herb behind you. There we go, there's the golden links. All right, so we're gonna continue the story path and then you're gonna see a bunch of orange containers. There's one falling over right in front of us. There's a couple over there. There's a bunch more down there. Well, there's actually two collectibles within 10 feet of each other down there. We're gonna have an elegant crown, which can be worth a lot of money if you imbue it, uh, imbue it with the proper stones, of course. And then we're going to have a clockwork statue guy. He's going to be in the underneath the truck here. Right behind it, actually. All right, so we're going to continue onwards. And then we're going to enter the building. Once we're inside the building, there's going to be a case right in front of us. Be careful of this trip mine. So as soon as you open the door, you'll see it. It's going to be hard to miss. All right, so make your way to the utilities area. We're actually heading through it. And then there's going to be a treasure here. So as soon as I get to the end of this hall, I'm just going to do a U-turn and enter in the small room over here to my left. All right, we're heading to the dissection area. For this, we have to reroute the power. It's going to be in this room here, the power control level. Then we're going to go up into the dissection area. First, let's just reroute the power. And just head into the room straight in front of you. And this is going to be at the back end of the room. You just have to break the glass. All right, so we're going to loop around to the next door. There's going to be an electronic lock terminal. Inside of there, you're going to get the level one key card. And then we're going to go in the room across the hall to get the golden guy. Go ahead and pause the video there if you want to see what the solution to that puzzle is. Now the key card is going to be in the back. This is not it. Now once you pick it up, we're going to leave the room and go in the door straight in front of us. And it'll be in the back left corner of that room. Just be careful because we have a new friend. And you don't want to shoot him. You just kind of want to avoid him for a little while. Okay, so as I mentioned, in this room in the back left corner. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna go into the freezer, but we have to go back and reroute the power to where it was before. And we're gonna go into the freezer now that we have the level one key card. Once we go into the freezer, there's gonna be a side room to the right. We're gonna have to use, do another door puzzle. But we're gonna go in the side room to the right and we're gonna get the LE5 weapon. Okay, so here's the door puzzle. Pause it if you want to see the solution. Right there. And now you're going to go and upgrade your key card while you're in the main room. 
in the freezer. Now we're going to head down some stairs to the next area heading towards the incubation lab. There is a merchant on the other floor you were just on. Uh, you're going to need a long range uh, weapon, a sniper rifle, for example, because we're going to get a scope right here, the biosensor scope in the incubation lab. And this is how you're going to get the two bugs, one stone trophy. You attach that new sensor that we acquired. I'm going to attach it to this bolt action rifle that I just purchased from the merchant because it's the cheapest thing there. And then head back to the incubation room. This you can get the two bugs, one stone trophy. You just have to find two parasites behind each other. So you're going to have to kind of rotate around them to see if there's one behind it. Line up a shot so you kill two parasites with that one shot get the two bugs one stone trophy and that's actually it for chapter 13 believe it or not not that big of a chapter but i want to thank you guys once again for clicking on this video if you want to hit the like button and of course subscribe